Contaminated. Hand me the catheter now. Here, Doctor. Madeline, I need you not to push. No, oh, God, I can't help it. Okay, okay, okay. I know it's hard, Madeline. Please try. Uh, I can't help it. <laughs> Madeline, uh, no. What's the matter? Uh, Dan, something wrong? Get Rollins in here from pediatric stat. We've got a badly stained kid here. Yeah. Okay, Madeline, let's get him out. Okay, push now. Harder, harder, harder. <laughs> It's a boy. It's a You need more towels. I want to see him. I want to see him. The airway's not clear. We have to what save him. What are they doing? What are they doing? I don't know. I don't know. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I want to see him. Bring the baby here! Bring the baby here! Bring the baby! What's wrong? Ran, what's wrong? Ran, what's wrong? What's wrong? Bring me the baby! Bring me the baby! Please bring me the baby! Bring me the baby! Bring me the baby. Some place. It's cold. I'm glad we came. It'd be a nice vacation. It's not a vacation, Ren.
hired someone to come in and open this place up. Somebody sure knew what they were doing. The craftsmanship is amazing. I wonder it's lasted all these years. So much to do. I want to get underneath, check the foundation. If the rest of the place looks this good, I'll bet we could get a nice price for it. Rand, I didn't say I wanted to sell it. Not so well. More dreams? I cannot believe you just said that. What? We just buried our son. Well, I meant maybe in a year. No. No, I am never having another baby. What is wrong with you? It's a good one, huh? You know, this four-pound test is very, very sporty. Oh, yeah. Right. Rand. And it is you. Will. Will Chapman, come on, Jeffries, you senile here? Chapman? Yes! Jeez! What the hell are you doing what here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, well, my wife just inherited a house on the island. Uh, it's been empty for years, and we just came down to check it out, maybe sell it. Hey, we, oh, you talking about the old Gage place? Yeah. You know it? Your wife's a Gage? Well, she used to be. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I, I came here, you know, a couple of years ago, to take over my father's practice. Oh, you did become a doctor. Yeah. Good for you, man. And did you build those skyscrapers you were always talking about? No, no, no. Uh, housing, uh, you know, track stuff, mostly uh, in the suburbs, you know. Uh, you know, Brittany needs a place to live. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I, 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 I gotta uh, go. Um, I'm gonna call you and, and come out to the house, and we'll have dinner, all right? I would like that. I would like that. Glad to see you. <clears throat> Figure you're the only doctor on the island, right? And the cheapest.
baby crying. A baby? Up here somewhere. Well, honey, must have been the wind. Or a cat. An animal of some kind. Come on, you need some sleep. We both do. You really think you could, Joe? Oh, that would be so wonderful. Call as soon as you know what your flight is. I'll meet you at the ferry. Oh, me too. I cannot wait. But oh, that was Joe. She's going to a conference in Washington, D.C. I invited her down here afterwards. Maddie, we came out here to get away, to spend some time together, alone. I know. I just thought it'd be nice to have someone to talk to. Talk to me. Look. I know you've always had a problem with Joe, but she's my oldest friend. Hey, she's the one with the problem. Brant, I just feel like I could fall apart at any minute. This is so hard for me. Never mind. I'll just call her back and cancel. No, don't. It'll help you to have her here. It's fine. Thank you. Joe! Hi! Hey! Oh! Oh! I am so 
happy you're here. Me too. Mm. You look great. You're my best friend and a therapist. Don't lie to me. Okay, you look like hell. Thanks. Screw you. <laughs> Let's go have coffee. Okay. I don't know what to do, Joe. I can't sleep. I don't eat very much. I've had some horrible nightmares. I know this isn't much help, Maddie, but given what's happened, all this sounds pretty normal. That's not all. Um, I've been hearing a baby crying. You mean your baby? I don't know. Joe, it's so real. You just lost a child. Everybody deals with their grief differently. This is your way. Look at that woman. The old lady. She was staring at me. Huh. It was so weird. Living in San Francisco, I don't notice weird anymore. Yeah. <laughs> amazing house. Been in my family for 150 years. Built by my great, great something grandfather, <laughs> Captain Nathaniel Horatio Gage. Ship's captain, war profiteer, womanizer. Nice gene pool. <laughs> How come we never came here before? I'm not sure. I only came one summer when I was a kid. Mother never liked it, so we never came back. You've got the number. Call me as soon as you hear something. I am uptight, John. I got everything writing on this deal. Yeah. Soon. Honey. Hi. Nice to see you, Joe. It's nice to see you too, Rand. Guest room's upstairs. Come on. supposed to take them four times a day. You didn't take them at lunch, did you? I don't like them. They make me dizzy. Well, it's important that you take them. Excuse me. Come on, honey. They'll make you feel a lot better. Nyberg in years. He's constantly riding me. Yeah, he was. 
<laughs> he was tough on everybody. No, he loved you. You were a damn good ball player. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. Huh. But I don't remember any colleges fighting over me. I'm really glad you could come tonight, Will. I gotta tell you, this thing with a baby, it's really been tough. I don't know if Madeline will ever be the same. Well, if there's anything I can do to help. Of course, I'm not a psychologist. No, oh, shrinks. <laughs> don't get me started. So, uh, what's the story with your wife's friend? The Ice Princess? Uh, socially awkward moment. What do we do now? Will Chapman, Joe Parker. Hi. How do you do? Will's an old friend. He's the island doctor. Oh, a doctor. What would you recommend for a bad case of frostbite? Well, a warm body usually works for me. <laughs> oh. Uh, me. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Ran, I came because Maddie asked me to. I'm here as a friend, that's all. Yeah. I know. We talked a lot on the way back from the ferry. She was very shaky. Well, Dr. Will prescribed an antidepressant. I'm hoping that'll help. What kind is it? I don't know. You don't know? I'm not a doctor, Joe. It's ready. I'll get Manny. Beepers. Blessing and curse. I know what you mean. Uh, anything important? Hypochondria. If you don't mind my asking, what's your take on Madeline? My, my take? Your evaluation of her condition. I don't know her. Well, then wasn't it a little unethical of you to prescribe antidepressants for her? Wait a minute. I didn't prescribe anything. Where did you get that idea? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm confused. I thought... I thought Rand said that you were an old friend. Of his. I never met Madeline. Oh. I guess I'm just a die-hard city boy. I'm getting island fever all right. Ah, well, that's a common affliction among off islanders. What you gotta do is you just gotta sit for about a month, not do a thing. A month? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be climbing out of my skin. Well, that's what I thought at first, but uh, the island, it's, uh, it's a very special place, you know. It, it changes people. Really? Yeah. What happens to them? Well, you know, they get a different slant on things. Priorities change. What's important, what's not. I'm all of a sudden tired. Well, I think I'll go up and go to bed. Well, it was nice to meet you. Sorry I'm not better company. Well, that's okay. I'll see you again. Do you want me to come up with you? No. You stay and enjoy yourself. Good night. I was hoping she'd get better out here, but she's not. She says she's been... hearing a baby crying. When did that start? Right after we got here.
What are you doing? He stops crying when I sing to him. Who does? Maddie? What are you doing? Well, I I was uh, looking for the tower. I thought I saw you up there. I can't find a way up there. 
What are you looking at? Um, it's an old household ledger. It goes all the way back to the Civil War. It's pretty cool. Neat. Where have you been? Gardening. Gardening? Where? Oh, I am starved. I need to get out of this house. Let's go into the village and have a great lunch. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I haven't ridden a bike in a long time. It's just like sex. You never forget how. Okay, how'd you get on this thing? Ooh, it's been that long, huh? Yeah, Okay. Oh, my gosh. Whoa! Oh! Oh, oh dear. Oh, the tray! Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. A great lunch, a little stroll. <laughs> it's been a long time. See, it's gonna get better. Yeah. <sighs> I just keep thinking it's my fault. The doctor said, don't push. No, Madeline, don't. You couldn't help it. Of course you couldn't. Come on. Fran wants us to have another one. Oh, it seems awful soon for him to be bringing that up. Like they're just replaceable. Maddie, about last night in the nursery, I think it'd be a good idea for me to clear that room. No! I could do it. You... No, Joe, please. Don't ask me to give him up. Please. I can't. Joe, there's that woman. The one that was watching me. She was spying on me in the woods, too. Will. Hi, Madeline. That woman you were just talking to, who is she? That's uh, Rachel Martin. Why, what's wrong? Madeline thinks she's following her. She is. I want to know why. Well, she's a bit of an odd bird, but she's completely harmless. You know, she lives by herself in the middle of the island here, and she gets by, and it's no small feat, because uh, she's blind. She's blind? Yeah, since she was a kid. Like when her family used to work for your great-aunt Maureen. I remember her now. That one summer we spent here, she was the first blind person I'd ever seen. Some of the island kids said she was a witch. She's terrify me. She's just an old lady. I just want her to leave me alone. Well, listen, I got a patient. Uh, I'll talk to Rachel and see what's up, and I'll get back to you. See you, Joe. Joe, I'm gonna take a ride around the island, just clear my head out. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Why don't you browse the village? I'll meet you back at the house. Why are you tending it? Kevin wanted me to. Who's Kevin? My baby. Madeline. You lost your baby. He's not alive. You have to accept that.
Now, Allison, you take all those pills, and then you can have this. Okay? Bye-bye. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Hope you don't mind me dropping by like this. No. Glad you did. You got a minute? Yes. Would you like some coffee? Sure. I'm really starting to get worried about Madeline. If you have any insight into this at all. Well, ma'am. Tell me. Please, because this, this is very important to me. Yeah, sit down. Back in the 40s, my father was the island doctor here. Now, so the story goes, Madeline's great aunt Marine had just moved into the house. She came to see my father. Said she was having trouble sleeping. She was hearing things in the house. What things? A baby crying. She had just had a miscarriage. My father gave her a sedative and suggested she get psychiatric help. Now, I don't know whether she did or she didn't. But a week later, she walked right into the ocean. And she drowned. She committed suicide? Well, that's how the coroner wrote it up. So your reaction the other night was more than just curiosity. Guilty. I was, uh... I was concerned about a, you know, a first impression. <laughs> Does Madeline know about all this? It's family history. And Ran, does he know? He could.
Joe, can you hear him? Yeah, I can hear it. He's here, behind this wall. Too, Joe? I heard something. It sounded like a baby. I didn't hear anything. He stopped crying. Maybe he's gone to sleep. Why don't we all do the same thing? No. I want to find out what's behind this door. Hold it. Wait a second. in a child's room. With all these bars. Maybe for safety. It's a long ways down. There's something wrong with this room. Something very wrong. You see Madeline? Gone to talk to the local minister. See if he knows anything about that symbol. I know you're trying to help, Joe. But the last thing Madeline needs right now is for you to start buying into her delusions. Is that what they are? A baby? Come on, Joe, you know that's impossible. I agree. I think it was just supposed to sound like one. What's that supposed to mean? Why are there stereo boxes in the attic? Hidden speakers all over the house, wires everywhere. What's going on? You think I'm doing this? Setting up speakers and, 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 and playing a, a tape of a baby crying? To, to what? Drive my wife nuts? Are you? Why? Why, why would I do I that? I have a few million reasons. Oh, man. You are a piece of work, lady. The less Maddie is able to function, the more control you have over her money. Now look, I know you never approved of me. I, I, I know you always thought I wasn't good enough for Madeline. Hell, her whole family doesn't think I'm good enough. But I don't give a damn about Madeline's money. You sure did when you took it to start your own company. Did she also tell you that I paid back every last cent? Not that it's any of your business. Hell, none of this is any of your business. Maddie is my best friend. She's my You're wife. Just a baby for God. So did I. He was my son too. My little boy. I, I, I kissed him and I held his hand and I, and I, and I watched him die. I loved 
him to. she was. <laughs> this is a dumb idea. I, I don't even know if we're going to keep this place. But I thought as long as we're here, it might help her relax. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Not a switch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forget it. No. I don't want to forget it. Will you forgive me, please? Yeah. I suppose with everything, it did look sort of... Oh. You know, uh, sometimes with these things, fathers, they tend to get overlooked. Uh, Kevin would have been a lucky, lucky little boy. Who's Kevin? Your baby. Our baby's name wasn't Kevin. It was Daniel. It's pagan. See, when people died, they were often buried with funeral urns that held what they believed were evil spirits. And this symbol was painted on the urns to keep the evil spirits from escaping and following the soul into the afterlife. Why would someone put it on a gravestone? I don't know. I mean, you say that the grave is outside the cemetery? Mm-hmm. Well, that would suggest that whoever's buried there wasn't a Christian, or couldn't be buried as such. The date on the gravestone is 1886. Is there any way of finding out who it is, name, anything? Maybe. See, every birth, death, and marriage on the island from 1740 until all the early 1920s was recorded in the church records. Let's see. Hmm. There's only one death recorded in 1886. Captain Nathaniel Horatio Gage. You know the name? My maiden name's Gage. He was the first family member on the island. Oh. Let's see. Well, there's only one child born to Captain Gage, a son, born in 1860. What was his name? William. How did you know that? We all have a presence that's our very own. It's unique. It's not seen with the eyes. I'm really not a witch. I promise I'm not. You've been following me. Why? Because I've been trying to get up the courage to speak to you. To warn you. Warn me? Yes. You're in great danger. There's something in the house. In the house? You mean the baby I've been hearing? You heard a baby? 
Yes, is that what you're talking about? Please, please leave that house now before it's too late. Too late for what? I don't know. I'm sorry. Rachel, wait, please. Rachel? Rachel? Rachel, talk to me. Wait, wait. for dinner. Any time. I'll listen to my phone number. If you need anything, anything happens, just call me, okay? Be here in two minutes. <laughs> you make house calls, huh? Sometimes. Old-fashioned. I like that in a doctor. How do you like that in a guy? Oh, you get used to it. Good night. Good night. talking about what was up there I don't know something came out of the tower the symbol kept it up there the Reverend told me I I should 
shouldn't have taken it off the door. Why did you? I heard a voice. A child's voice. It asked me to do it. Tell her she needs help. She'll listen to you. What can I say, Ran? I heard it, too. I felt it. What is it? It, it could be, um, like a, a physical manifestation, right, of, of, of Madeline's pain, guilt over the loss of the baby. I know it's rare, but it's been documented. Joe, I'm gonna go talk to Rachel Martin. She knows something about this. I'm positive. Wait, 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 hold it. Who's Rachel Martin? She's an old woman who lives on the island. I ran into her yesterday on the road. She warned me about the house. Some old lady warned you about the house? Come on, honey. Do you have any idea how this is starting to sound? Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna go talk to Rachel. Madeline, Madeline, you gotta stop this, please. It's not gonna bring our baby back. Nothing will. Go with her. Something's happened. I know. Rachel called me at dawn. She's upset. She's worried you're all in danger. Whatever was in the house has gotten out. Yes, I heard the wind. It was like a hurricane blowing through the house. And now it's free. Free? What's free? You know, don't you? I only know it's a spirit. Of what? A young child, perhaps. A baby. I just lost a baby. Does this have something to do with him? Maybe that's the connection. Aunt Maureen had just lost a baby. She'd miscarried. And it was after that that she started hearing the crying. Everyone thought she was crazy, but I, I knew she was in danger. I, I was only a child, so no one believed me. Then the day she drowned herself, I tried to stop her from leaving the house. I, I grabbed all onto her skirt and I held on, but some thing, some force, pulled me off of her, and I fell back through the window. Glass. That's how you lost your sight. Madeline, be careful. Be very careful. Now that it's loose, you're, you're in even greater danger than before. Right home. Thank you. Take care. happened oh come on guys a ghost pushed a tree over i don't expect you to believe it good because i don't well neither do i but i don't know how else to explain it and what about last night in the tower 
How do we explain that? I don't know, but there's got to be some logical answer to it. None of it's logical, Ran. But it's real. The tower, the cemetery, the symbol. And it's all connected somehow to that baby that Rachel mentioned. Those ledgers that I found in the attic date back to the Civil War. Everything that went on in this house was recorded. Don't you think that would include births and deaths? There's got to be a mention of a baby somewhere. I'll go get them. It's not our baby, Madeline. Maybe not. But it's someone's baby. Maddie? Look, I don't know what's going on here. You know I don't believe in ghosts. But whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this, I just want you to know I'm with you. Thank you. From 1872 to 1879, there's more than 50 references to the child, the baby, the boy. No mention of a birth, never a name. It's very odd. And after 1879, he's never mentioned again. It's as though he suddenly stopped existing. Well, maybe he died. Smallpox, influenza, scarlet fever. Wouldn't there be mention of funeral expenses? A coffin, something? Maybe he ran away. Seven years old? Mm, good point. The gravestone says 1886. That's seven years later. It's enough for tonight. You need sleep. We all do. Mm. We'll keep going tomorrow, right? You guys go to bed. I'll straighten up down here. Hey, thank you. Sure. Good night. Good night. Good night. I, I gotta tell you something. Uh, I'm a scientist. I gotta, you know, be able to see things, feel things. Yeah, me too. I think you're right about this island, Doctor. It does change people. Beautiful boy. It's still no name, just the boy. Well, look, you're both gonna make it. It was a damn close call. Come on, I wanna clean this out. Look, I don't know what's going on here, and I don't care. Let's just go home. 
I can't. I feel like this baby needs me somehow. What about me? What I want? I understand. I do, but... Give me more time, please. Or you can do what you want, Manny. You said you'd be with me on this. I need you. Captain Nathaniel Horatio Gage has come home after a 28-month sojourn in the Far East. Captain Gage returns from the Orient, proudly accompanied by his newly adopted son. Kevin. This explains why there was no record of his birth on the ledgers. The captain brought home an adopted son. It's cute. I mean, most sailors bring home parrots and tattoos. And his wife, uh, Sarah, she kept the ledgers. That's how come she never referred to the baby by name. She must have been furious. It must have been horrible for her. Mm, and for the baby, too, because kids know when they're not loved, it kills them one day at a time. Yeah. You finally know who he is, Joe. A little boy named Kevin. Who ceased to exist after No sign. She could have gone anywhere. What in God's name? That's the baby. What kind of a baby is that? Where's it coming from? The ocean.
changing. It's getting stronger. What do you mean, stronger? I don't know. I... I didn't just hear a voice. I felt it like it was a part of me. It didn't ask me to do anything. It... Just that moment I had to walk into the ocean. What's this thing want? Wants me. Why you? What have you done? I don't know. I wish I knew. If I could just talk to him something. No, no. No more. I don't understand it, but this this isn't some innocent little boy. This thing is deadly. We're getting off the island. Rand. Well, when's the next ferry to the mainland? Noon. We'll be on it. Give you a hand. letter, uh, hidden in a drawer in the Chinese box, is written by Sarah Gage, the captain's wife. What's it say? It's a confession of sorts. Confession of what? Murder. I need your help. Yes, it's time. What are you talking about? Kevin. This letter's about him. Sit down. Apparently, his mother was an English woman, a mistress of the captains in Hong Kong. And he brought the baby home and expected Sarah to raise him. Well, she hated him for bringing the baby home. And she hated the baby even more. She tolerated him, though. And then, when Kevin was six, uh, a discoloration of some kind appeared on his face, like a... A bright red stain. Everyone thought it was the mark of the devil. So now, the boy's even more of an embarrassment. And this, this mark is a, a constant reminder. So they locked him in the tower. Must have been torture for him. Oh, yeah, it was. Where is it? Um... As he grew older, his incessant wailing day and night drove us all to the edge of madness. Then, one night... In a drunken rage, the captain went to the tower to shut him up and fell and broke his neck. Kevin killed him? Sarah was convinced that he did. So she had him beaten to make him confess. And he never said a word. And he never cried. And this infuriated her. So she beat him herself until he died. She buried him in an unmarked grave and closed off the tower. That child was locked up for seven years? You know, she wrote this on her deathbed asking God for forgiveness. She never once asked for Kevin's. This little boy wasn't evil. The world he was born into was. That's what we're dealing with here. The rage of a life destroyed. 
What does this have to do with Madeline? Well, she's a direct descendant of Nathaniel Gage and a woman. And the loss of the baby has made her vulnerable to him. Just like Maureen. Whom he killed. Out of revenge for what was done to him. That's it. Madeline needs to hear this. She's not upstairs. Where the hell could she have gone? On the beach, man? No, that's not where she is. She said she wanted to talk to him. She's gone. I'll make a call. Oh, no. Oh, no. I shouldn't have come. I thought I could help. Phone's oh. dead. All right, we got to get out of here. Can you um, walk? Can you walk, sweetheart? I don't know. Come on. She's dead. Oh, get, no. Get the door, Joe. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Shock? I don't think it's shock. What the hell is it? I wish I knew.
drained the life out of her. We've got to get her to a hospital. I don't think that's going to do any good. Well, what do you suggest? Oh, I don't know. It's cold in here. I'm going to get a comfort from Madeline. We gotta get out of here. Come on, get her up.
God of grace and glory, we remember before you on this day your beloved son, Kevin. We offer thanks that he was given to us to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. Help him to find in death the gate to eternal life and give to us the quiet confidence so that we may continue our course on earth. May his soul rest in peace, secure in your everlasting love. Amen. 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 Good. That's done. Sure, uh, a week, <laughs> maybe longer. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Hmm. Love you. You too. Thanks, old man. Sure. Mm. Pleasure. You come back. We'll go fishing. You got it. Okay. I want us to have a baby. 